if you want to create an API with Golang, you want to be able to route your request not just by the path, but by its HTTP method as well. So you've probably taken a look at Gin and Gorilla Mux. Here we have two different files, one where we've created our API using Gin, and another one where we've created our API using Gorilla Mux for our routing. We're going to take a look at the differences in the code. Now, they still use the same data type. We have our gopher struct here, which is ID, first name, last name, and gophers, which is just a slice of gopher. And looking at our paths here, we're going to be handling at slash gopher for both our get method request and our post method request. The get method is simply going to return our gopher slice. And then our post request is going to go ahead and take some data, and then it's going to go ahead and append to our gopher slice and then return that slice. Let's take a look at our get gopher function. Now this is just going to handle all of our git requests at the path slash gopher. And remember this is just going to return our slice of gopher, but as JSON. So first thing we're going to do is set the content type for our header to application slash JSON. Then we're going to go ahead and marshal gopher. So we're going to go ahead and convert our slice of gopher structs. We're going to convert that to JSON. And if we have an error, well, we're going to go ahead and handle that error and let them know that something went wrong. Obviously the return is going to make sure that this part doesn't run. Now notice that we're passing in a status code here, but we're not passing in a status code here. So let's go ahead and show why you don't have to do that. Um, so for our write method, if write header has not yet been called, write calls write header HTTP status code okay before writing the data. So if we take a look back here, uh, we've ran it in here, but if we made it to this point in the code, we have not uh, wrote that yet. So we're saying, hey, the status code is 200. So that's why we didn't have to put that in this section here. Uh, one thing to notice is that this is very idiomatic uh, Golang code in that we're using our HTTP response writer and our pointer to HTTP request, just as you would see inside the HTTP package. Now, if we take a look at our function over here for a gen, we have our get gophers function, which is gonna handle all of our get, requ get requests at path slash gopher. And we're passing in Error pointed to gen.context. Now notice that, no, this is not quite the idiomatic way of doing it, but it's not like we're missing a lot of features. So taking a look at that, um, obviously the request and response, we have a lot of different uh, methods that we can use, but if we go over to the gen package, uh, type context has quite a bit, uh, quite a bit of features that we, you know, quite a bit of methods we can use. So I wouldn't say that the amount of methods we have is sparse. So we have plenty of stuff to work with there. So one, the one we're going to be using here is indented JSON, which is going to take our status code and our data type. Now, as you can see, this accomplishes quite a bit in one line of code. So it's automatically going to go ahead and set our, you know, content type to application size JSON. Um, it's going to go ahead and pass in a status code. If it, you know, if it works, it's just going to, you know, it's going to say 200. If it doesn't, you know, it's going to let them know. And then it, of course, uh, serializes, you know, it, it converts it to JSON. So, so as you can see, sending JSON with Gen is not only just really concise, but it's just really simple and easy to use. So let's go ahead and run this. Over to Postman. And remember, it's a get method at slash gopher. So we hit send. And as you can see, we have our slice of gophers in JSON. So go back to our code here. Let's go ahead and run this for the other package. And let's go over to Postman. And again, get request at slash gopher. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at our code for our post request. All right, our, met our function create gopher is going to handle all of our post methods at slash gopher. 
our create gopher function is going to handle our post request and we're going to want to grab the json on that post request so we're going to need a new decoder we're going to go ahead and use the json packages new decoder function and we're going to pass in the request body so it's going to read from this decoder is going to read from the request body so the this new decoder is going to give us access to the decode method and so this is going to attempt to take that json and convert it to our gopher data type saving it into our new gopher variable uh, if it is not effective well we're going to go ahead and have to handle that error so we're going to go ahead and let them know like hey something went wrong and of course the return here is going to make sure the rest of this doesn't run but let's assume that it does decode it and we get we change it over to our gopher data type well we're going to go ahead and close the body so we're not losing resources uh, we're also going to go ahead and append this new struct this gopher struct to our slice of gopher structs so again we had to change this because we can't append json onto a you know a slice of gopher structs that wouldn't work and since we're going to be writing that uh that slice back on our on our response well we need to go ahead and take the entire slice of gophers we're going to go ahead and marshal that we're going to go ahead and change that to uh, json and then we're going to go ahead and set the content type to application slash json and then we're going to go ahead and write it so let's go ahead and take a look at our code over here on our our gen file so again it's at slash gopher we're going to be handling that post request so we have our Create, uh, create gopher function. Again, we're going to go ahead and create a variable because we have that incoming JSON on this post request. We want to go ahead and grab that. So we're going to use the bind JSON uh, method on our on our context, and we're going to go ahead and give it a pointer to new gopher. So if there's an error uh, changing this uh, that incoming JSON to this data type, well then we're going to go ahead and handle that and say, hey, we you know, we, we ran into an error. Turn to make sure we don't go down to here. But let's say everything does uh, go as we hoped it to. Then we're going to go ahead and append new gopher onto our slice. And then we're just going to, again, use our indented JSON method on our context. And we're just going to pass in our status code and our slice of gophers. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look and see these both in action. So we're already running uh, Gorilla. So let's just go ahead and run that one first. Make sure we change this to post. And under the body, I'm just going to click raw. So let's go ahead and paste in our data. So on our last one, we only had two, uh, uh, two of those structs. And so let's go ahead and hit send and see if we get our third. Ah, oh, there we go. So retrieve that data, we appended that data, and we sent it on our response. Anyway, let's go ahead and run the other one. Okay, let's go back to here. And send. All right, there we go. So we went ahead and sent our data and got the, you know, appended it and got our response back. So if you're going to create an API and you want your code to be as idiomatic as possible with the Golang way, well, you're going to go with Gorilla Mux. You're going to use the HTTP response writer and the HTTP request. On the other hand, if you enjoy the conciseness and ease of use as I have, well, you're probably going to go with Gen. For instance, taking that incoming data on that post request and binding it well, I mean, that's just one line of code here, you know, and of course, you know, the error check. And if you want to send stuff out, well, again, just one line of code, real simple, real easy to use. And it's just been a real joy. If you like the content, please like, share, and subscribe. Big thank you to everybody who's been sharing the content. We've had an uptick of subscribers and it is greatly appreciated. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.